say a prayer or something? I guess. Okay, you can say it. I don't want to. Well, neither do I. I don't know what to say. Stop being so melodramatic, Charles. No one's asking for a eulogy. This is a simple prayer. Ask the earth to watch over him. Or something. He's dead. There's not a whole lot of that necessary. You're so morbid. What about his next life? I think we should pray to Hecate and ask her to make him a human. Someone we need to become friends with. What? Hecate is a goddess of death. She's also a goddess of reincarnation. It's wicked. Oh, so you're wicked this week. Glad that's cleared up. I can't keep your personality straight. Last week you go with a friend to a Baptist church, come home and proceed to tell Mom, Dad, and me that we're going to hell because we watch TV. A mere nine days later you are Elvira, mistress of the dark. We can't keep up with you. Find an identity. <laughs> you're one to talk. What could you possibly mean by that? I'm always the same. That's nothing to brag about. I've been meaning to tell you. I'm sorry about your dog. Yeah, thanks, man. He was a good dog. Yeah, he was. But he was old. It was long past his time. Still, he was a good dog. I totally wanted to come to your funeral party thingy, but I was waiting on a delivery from the Duber. What do you think happens when we die? Do you mean, like, do I believe in heaven? Yeah. Nah, no, man. I'm a Buddhist. Since when? It's kind of a new development. Well, what do Buddhists believe happens when you die? Buddha believed that one of two things happens. Either you are reborn, or you dissolve into nothingness. Oddly enough, the former is punishment and the latter is reward. We Buddhists believe that the corporeal body is the source of all suffering and a liberation from the body into nothingness or nirvana is the fucking way to go. Don't you find that depressing? Liberation? Nothingness. <laughs> what is that? Oh, so much, man. I am sorry about your dog. That's rough. Yeah, thanks. Probably used to get some pussy, though. <laughs> Girls are suckers for that shit. Hey, man, what do you think happens when you die? Oh, that's a good question, CB. I'm glad you asked. Hey. What's up? Nothing. Sorry we couldn't make it to your dog's funeral. That's okay. But don't you think it's kind of weird having a funeral for a dog? I guess. Whatever. Well, he's in a better place. What do you mean by a better place? I don't know, like doggy heaven or something. Do you really believe that? Hell no. Not a chance. I was just saying it to be polite. You don't believe in heaven? Well, for people, yeah. But dogs? I don't think so. So, what happens to them? Maggot food? I love you! Sorry, but that's what we think. What do you think happens to pets when they die? They go to heaven? Do you believe in heaven? Sure. Well, there has to be some reward for having to do all of this. And you think there are animals there in heaven? The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard and the lion with the goat, and the cat and the lion and the yearling together, and the little child will eat them. The cow will feed with the bear, the young will lie down together, and the lion will eat strong and beyond. It will play near the whole thing over it, and the young child will put his hand into the fire to us. If my dog killed a wicked thing, wouldn't God be mad? He was sick, see, he would help You know, they say a dog sees God as his master. A cat looks in the mirror. I hate cats. Me too. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Well, if a certain someone would stop getting thrown into solitary, then another certain someone could come visit more often. Sit down. Sit down. The doctor is in. Boy, is she ever. Very funny. I thought you might like it. How have you been? And how is everybody? Everybody's pretty much the same. How are you? I'm great. I'm doing really well. I've taken up knitting. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's been really good for me, and I made you something. It's beautiful. Wow. Thanks. I'll wear it often. Don't you think the handcuffs seem a little unnecessary? Are you kidding? I love them. They're kinky, and you know me. I do. Besides, it's for your protection. I'm not scared. Maybe you should be. When are you getting out of here already? As soon as I can say three simple words. Fire is bad. Well,